When Happy Amos started out trying to design a clean cooker, it was mostly to avoid the smoke from the traditional oven. I was cooking in my grandmother's house with three stone stove, and it was a very difficult process uh, with the smoke, the ash, and everything. It wasn't nice, and I just went to my phone and I, I googled better stoves, improved stoves, and, and then I found out that there are improved cook stoves that will emit less smoke and cook faster and consume less firewood. And then I thought it was a very good business idea. And one thing leading to another, and we're here today. With a grant from the Nigerian government, Happy runs a startup on the outskirts of Abuja, employing eight people from the community. Her stove is made from clay wrapped in a metal sheet, which keeps the heat in, making it more fuel efficient. Holes let the smoke out of the base, making the stove safer and far less smoky than the traditional model. We have sold quite a number of stoves, over 5,000 stoves. We, we do not sell all of them directly. Some of them are sold through women distributors who were doing absolutely nothing and now they are selling our stoves and we are sending it to different parts of Nigeria for them. The stoves go for $8 and women are allowed to pay in two installments, making it a reasonably affordable purchase. However, the supply chain is still very weak and many Nigerians aren't aware there's a safer alternative in the market. Happy is trying to spread the word about the benefits of her design. If you were using 100 Naira fuel every day, when you use Happy Energy Saving Stove, you will begin to use 15 Naira. That means you are saving 15 Naira. And if you're saving 15 Naira every day, averagely, that means at the end of the month, you have saved 1,500. And in two months, you have saved 3,000. So just from fuel savings, the money you have used in the purchase is back. Despite this, the traditional three-stone oven is still popular among millions of Nigerians living in the rural areas. One environmental advocacy group claims around 100,000 people die in the country every year from inhaling the toxic fumes. To really have an impact, Happy says she needs more buy-in from the government to create awareness about the cleaner, safer stove. Deja Badmo, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.